Hey guys, Sean here at K2 Trades. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the K2 Trend Meter. Um, so basically the K2 Trend Meter gives a quick overview of the overall trend on four different time frames. And add this to your chart, you'll click on Indicators up here. You'll click on Invite Only Scripts and then click on the K2 Trend Meter. And there you go, it's on your screen. So the reason why I created this indicator was to make it more efficient and easy for you guys to apply the K2 trading strategy all on one chart. So basically when the trend meter is green down here, this demonstrates that price is trending upwards. And as you can see here, price was clearly trending upwards if you entered this trade right here. Oppositely, if the trend, if the uh, trend meter shows red down there, let me get an example. Here we go. So if it's red down here, this demonstrates that price is trending downwards. And as you can see here, if you insert up here or if you insert over here, you can see that the price was clearly going downwards. Otherwise, if price is, if the trend meter is blue right here, this demonstrates that price is either uh, neutral or it's in consolidation. As you can see here, it's crossing through the cloud. So this is showing that, you know, price isn't trending in either direction. It's just going back and forth in a range. So the way that this indicator works is if price is above the cloud on the four selected time frames, as it is here, it'll turn green. So as you can see right here, the trend meter is green right here. And if you look on all four charts, price is above the cloud. So on the 30 minute, it's above the cloud. On the one hour, it's above the cloud. On the two hour, it's above the cloud. And on the four hour, it's above the cloud. So it gives strong confirmation that the trend is trending upwards. Let me show you the opposite. Let me go back to the other example. So right here, the meter is red. And as you can see here, price is below the cloud on the 30 minute. It's also below the cloud on the one hour, the two hour, and the four hour. So this would give confirmation that trend is going downwards. Let me show you an example for the blue part of the meter. So as I showed you earlier, um, the trend meter here is blue because it's not above or below the cloud on all four charts. As you can see here on the 30 minute, price is inside the cloud, which demonstrates consolidation. And then if you see here, let me move down here a little more. So if you see here, it's still blue. And this is because although the price is below the cloud on the 30 minute, it is, um, it is above the cloud on the one hour and then it was, let's see, it was above the cloud on the two hour, and then it is also above on it's above the cloud on the four hour. So so this shows that you know the the price the trend hasn't been confirmed because on all four charts, uh, price is moving in different directions. So in this situation, we wouldn't take any trades because we only want to take trades that are trending either upwards or downwards, and we want confirmation so we know that we have a high probability that our trade will be a winner. So let me show you examples. So when applying the strategy, um, if you're not using the K2 trend meter, um, you would have to look at fo uh, all four charts to see if the trend is trending upwards before you take this position. But see, if you have the K2 trend meter, you don't need all four charts. You can just, if you saw this, this trade right here, you could have just taken it because if the trend meter is green down here, it's already showing you that the trend is trending upwards on all four charts with only having one chart open. It makes it so much easier. So if we enter this trade, we enter right here, and then we bring it down to the, to the cloud or the swing low, which is about 25. And then if you took this trade, that would have been a clear winner right there. Could have done the same thing right here. I'll just show you from the measurement. So if you entered right here, swing low would probably be somewhere around here, about 30 pips. And if you roll that up, clear winner right there. Another one with this one. So you would have entered here, swing low would have been about 10 pips, another winner right there. So three wins back to back if you follow the strategy and use the K2 trend meter. Let's look for some cells. Let's look at a random pair, the odd UC. All right, perfect. So if you see here, 
the trend meter is showing that the overall trend is downwards. So if you entered a position right here, swing high would be somewhere around here. Was around that to like about 12 pips. And there you go, winner on that signal. Let's run another one right here. Swing high would be somewhere around here, 27 pips. There you go, another winner right there. And then we have another signal right here. Swing high would probably be around it's 23 yeah price is still moving around so I mean maybe by the maybe in a couple hours I hit target but yeah that's a basic explanation on how to use the K2 trend meter um, also if you want to use it for different for different time frames uh, you just click on settings right here and it's preset to intraday trading so we have it on 30 minute one hour two hour and four hour if you want to do scalping, you can change it to what, like 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and what, one, hour, 1 hour, I guess. After you click OK, uh, it'll update down here. So now the trend meter is basically giving you the overall trend for scalping. Also, if you want to do long-term trades, you can do 1 hour, uh, 2 hour, 4 hour, or end the one, one day. So there you go, and then you'll see that it's a little different because um, obviously if you're trading long term like long term trades, uh, the trend's not going to be as as prevalent as you can see here. It's not as it's it's blue most of the time because you're not going to find the trend you know going the same direction for long term trades as often as you would for uh, short term trades. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, if you guys have any other questions. Uh, feel free to message me on Telegram, or you can message me on uh, the Slack or on my email. My email is sean at k2trades.com, and I'm open to answer any questions. So feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions. I'm, I'm willing to explain anything you guys need help with. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys.